coming back again. Hello, friends. Welcome to your YouTube channel. You're here with Pastor James Devalon. Listen, I have John Rich on the channel today, featured Sonia Isaacs. The title of this one is Revelation. Uh, one of my favorite books in the Bible. One of my very favorite. I'm so honest. I I, I love teaching the book of Revelation. I uh, I'm not saying I have it all figured out. I don't want to say that, but I do have a decent understanding of how to decode it. So, and if you want to know more about that, you know, just watch this video to the end. I'll share something with you at the end. But here's the thing. Um, you guys have requested this video over and over again. I was with, looking at reading my comments. At least five different people said, you need to listen to this video after I did the reaction video of um, Tom McDonald's video, uh, You Missed, in light of, you know, um, the assassination and the temp of the President Trump. And so you guys said, check out this video. I said, okay, so let's, let's do it. So link in the description below, like and subscribe to the page, click the bell icon if you happen to be new. I hope you're enjoying the channel so far. Listen, I'm not going to waste your time. Let's get right into this thing. Okay, what is this all about? Let's take a listen. in the flames the people cursed his name bowed at the altar of the father of lies but there's a number to their days and all their evil ways the lord's gonna turn away from all their cries back again Brimstone upon their heads Millstones around their necks They'll feel the shaking when the trumpet sounds And no matter where they hide There'll be nowhere to run When Jesus puts his mighty foot on the ground <laughs> All right, great job, great job. I see what's going on here. Um, it's definitely making reference to the book of Revelation and is connecting it to the Bible in the light of Christ's second coming. But it's also talking about Revelation chapter six. Revelation chapter six is literally, and I'm not lying to you by, by saying this, I'm actually studying this right now with a class on Wednesday night. We have a prayer night meeting and I'm actually literally going through Revelation chapter six. We are studying this. Um, this is where it is found. So he's talking about the seven seals. So this is where you get the white horse. Come and see. We have the white horse, the red horse, the black horse, and the pale horse. And there's also other events that happens. There is the there is the lamb that stood, and also uh, the wrath of the lamb. Yeah, the wrath of the lamb, the great wrath. There it is, right there. So anyway, I've actually done a whole, you know an entire series on this. Um, I think I have it in my church channel, if I'm not mistaken. It might be in my Look and Live channel. I'm not sure. Like, it's been a while. It was about four years ago. So there was a church in Philly, and I had to do some studies about this. Anyway, let's go back to John Rich. Yeah, powerful business right here. Okay, okay, this is a bit different than what I was thinking. So this is like a confrontation between good and evil. So he's kind of giving you a, a picture of the end times and Christ coming face to face with Satan. Okay. <sighs> Have you seen my shirt? All right, all right, take a look. All right, that's all I have to say. Let's get back to the video. <laughs> Like a lightning flash, their voice will wail and their teeth will gnash. He'll 
set fire to the evil ones and all the wickedness they've done. There'll be no time to turn around as the stars begin to hit the ground and the mountains fall and the veil is torn with the sound of that seventh horn. Oh, revelation. I can feel it coming like a dark train. Before his days were done The king is coming And it won't be long Nice, nice, nice Great video um, I really appreciate the art that's going on here um, John Rich, great job with that You deserve a clap I, I love the biblical theme as well You're always going to get me when you make a connection to the Bible, especially in times like these. Um, I, I don't know about you, man. When I look at the signs of the times, I look at what's happening in the world today. I said, yeah, Jesus is coming again. He's coming again. It's like if you read Matthew 24, Luke 17, Mark 15, you got you got these signs, right? Some of them happen during the time of Jerusalem, of course, but there's also a double application to these signs. But you do see they have some prophetic application in them. So when you go through the Bible, it, it is very clear that we are living in the uh, in the end times. And um, the book of Revelation goes a little bit deeper in some of these, you know, what these end times actually look like. Daniel and Revelation actually are the best books to really make sense of Bible prophecy in final times. Even Jesus make reference to the book of Daniel here. Um, he said to read it and understand it so that you can make sense of the, the last days. And that was in, in reference to the question, what shall be, you know, how do we know? Show us what these things be. What shall be the sign of your coming of the end of the world? So this is a question about the end of the world. There it is right there. The sign of your coming in the end of the world. So the truth is uh, the world is coming to an end as, as you and I see it. I, I, it doesn't necessarily mean we should become lax and lazy and not fight for values and truth. That's not what it means. The Bible says we ought to occupy till he comes. Jesus has called us to be stewards of the earth and to protect and fight for what is right and what is true and fight for the people that we love and the world and save as many as possible in the process. But at the same time, while while, while we live in here, we got to keep our mind heaven word because the truth is uh, things are wrapping up. And I can tell you for certain, looking at the condition of our country today, looking at the condition of the church, looking at the condition of the world Looking at what's happening in in religious world, in nature, in politics, in the social world as a whole, you can look at the different areas. You're like, yeah, Revelation. <laughs> but the book of Revelation, by the way, is the revelation of Jesus Christ. It's not about beasts and monsters and stuff like that. But uh, however, it does highlight the king in Revelation 19. If you go down to verse 14, there, there goes the concept of a white horse right there. And I saw heaven and behold a white horse and he that sat on it was called faithful and true and righteousness. He judgeth and make war. Who is the truth, right? I'm the way, the truth and life. Who is faithful? Christ is the faithful one. He's also mentioned in Revelation chapter three that he is the faithful witness. He is the Lord, our righteousness. Um, we are told that also our God is a man of war. Actually, if you go throughout the Bible, you will end up with Jesus. This person on the white horse is Jesus Christ. And this is a symbolic term, by the way. And I will encourage you to study. We have a series of Bible prophecy right now that we are about to study. There's a class starting at uh, somewhere in the middle of 
August, I'm thinking, because we have our vacation the first week. We have anyway. Let me not tell you that. <laughs> so we have something scheduled the first week, and then, and then we have, and then we have that series coming up. So if that's something you want to be a part of, I'm gonna leave a sign up sheet in the description of this video, and you can sign up for the Bible study where we're gonna go through the Book of Revelation. We're literally studying a Bible prophecy, and we're gonna be spending time breaking all of this down so if you want to be part of the class it's about 40 people signing already so we're going to be spending time on zoom doing exactly that it will turn out to be a blessing to you and i just want to invite you to that let you know that it is happening so uh yeah the bible says that this person on a white horse is jesus here just like back then when the romans used to fight battles and they won they uh they will just gallop their horses and, and and a white horse was a symbol of victory um so if, actually if you want to look at the by the bible uh he went on to say in like look at verse 14 of that it says and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon horses clothed in linen white and clean so we are told that out of his mouth was a sharp sword and he smite the earth and he shall rule with a rod of iron. He shredded the winepress and the fierceness and the wrath of, of almighty God. And he had his vesture on his tire name written king of kings and lord of lords. The king is coming indeed, just like the men said. And I'll tell you what, this was a great video. I really appreciate the insight. John Rich is balanced. You could tell this, this is a godly man, a Christian man. Um, there's a lot about Revelation. Like I've said, it's not an easy book to understand. It's not a mysterious book, but it's not that easy because you have to decode the symbols. But you do this with the Bible. Um, it's worth taking a t study in this matter, but you need to study it with somebody who knows what they're talking about. I'm not sitting here trying to sell myself, but I'm then, you know, I've spent a lot of time in reading in the book and I've spent time in years studying it, I can definitely help you out. <laughs> if you don't know how to un understand Revelation, I can actually help you out. Anyway, uh, sign up for the Bible study. Check out our merch. Uh, go to the store. Find something to put on. Support us that way. I'm going to put a link in the description below to this video as well, and you can go check it out. Uh, this was great. Great graphic. John Rich, I really appreciate what you're doing here. Thank you for sharing the truth. Friends, you know, Jesus is coming again, and knowing that Christ is coming again, the question is that, what manner of person ought you to be, right? Because he's coming, uh, according to the Bible, friends, he's coming to receive everyone who believed and those who did not believe will be, somebody will say you left behind, but actually destruction will be their end. And I would not wish that on my worst enemy. So if you have not made Jesus Lord and Savior of your life, and if you're looking for ways to actually strengthen or deepen or tighten or even connect with jesus uh, let us know we can talk with you we can share some stuff with you uh, but i will say it might be time to go to the lord personally and 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 and, and, and give him the heart and turn away from a life of sin and and surrender all to him and believe in the son of god believe in yeshua hamashiach Believe that Jesus died on the cross to pay the price, a ransom for your sin. Uh, 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 accept that as a gift from God. And all your iniquity and transgression will be washed away. Jesus will give you a new heart and a new spirit. You will be made new. And if you need guidance with that, um, my information is in the description so we can stay in touch and talk about that as well. I've helped several people on this channel before prayed with people, giving them Bible studies. That's a very normal thing that I like to do. But if that's something you want to do, please stay in touch with me. Anyway, friends, link in the description below. Like and subscribe to the page. Click the bell icon for more. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good one. Bye.